everybody and today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look which is inspired by Kiki's delivery service. I'm really excited to do this makeup tutorial because I'm in love with Kiki's delivery service. That is like my childhood movie. My bow is falling. I really try my best to make each part of the makeup really reflect um, all the elements in Kiki's delivery service like the eyeshadow is purple, red lips, and rosy cheeks. So this makeup is pretty easy to do and you are most likely to have all the products in your house. <gasps> Alright, let's get started. First I'm taking a concealer and applying this all over my eyelid. Next I'm taking a light purple color, applying this all over my eyelid and not above my crease. Now I'm taking a purple that is a few shades darker and applying it above my eyelid for more definition. With a deep purple shadow, apply this into your crease for deeper set eyes. With a black liquid liner, I'm lining my eyes as closest to the lash line as possible. With a black liner, I'm lining the outer half of my eye and this will help my eyes to appear bigger and more doe-like. As you can see, I took my liquid liner and drew on a few bottom lashes. With a white pencil liner, line your waterline in the inner corners of your eyes. With a matte white eyeshadow, apply this in the inner corners of your eyes. This will help your eyes look bigger and brighter. And also apply this onto your brow bone. Now curl your lashes and make them all perky and ready for mascara. Now just apply mascara onto your top and bottom lashes. If you don't have big lashes then you can just apply false ones and also some false lashes can help your eyes to appear more animated like. The footage for the lips didn't come out so well, so I'll just tell you how I did it. All I did was apply a nude lipstick all over my lips, and then I just put some red lipstick on the inner areas of my lips, and then just blend it outwards. And I do this because gradient lips look so girly and innocent, which is so perfect for this look. Now just apply a hot pink blush onto the apples of your cheeks. We want our cheeks to look rosy and pink like Kiki's. Now I'm taking the same white eyeshadow from earlier and highlighting my face, like my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose. I'm now going to contour my nose with a brown eyeshadow that's a few shades darker than my skin tone and running it all along the sides of my nose with my finger. Now just apply a sparkly lip gloss. Now I'm just putting on a big red bow like Kiki has. I mean, what is Kiki without her big red bow? to need a red headband and some fabric that matches the color of the headband. If you can't find a red headband, you can always paint a white one. For the bow, I measured out about 10 inches and added about 2 inches for seam allowance. So all together, I cut the fabric at about 12 inches. Make sure that you fold the fabric inside out before you actually sew it together. So the shiny side, or whatever side is going to be on the outside of the bow, is going to be on the inside when you're sewing. When you sew something, you are actually sewing it from the inside out. Make sure that you leave a small opening at the end so you don't sew the thing completely shut. Now 
carefully pull it inside out or basically right side in. After you have adjusted everything on the rectangle squarish shape of fabric, you are going to carefully sew or glue the small opening shut. Make sure that you fold the fabric inwards so you can hide the seam. So here comes the part where it actually starts looking like a bow. For this, I used a rubber band and I tied it around the middle. You can also use a piece of string or elastic. Keep adjusting it until it looks like what you want it to. After that, you're going to take a piece of ribbon or a piece of the fabric that you used to make the bow and you're going to glue it over the string in the middle. After that, you're going to glue it on the top of the headband. Make sure it's in the dead center of the headband because Kiki's bow is in the middle of her head. 